This is one of those stories that is probably going to make you steaming mad that the families of soldiers killed in combat in recent days won't get some of the death benefits right now because of the partial government shutdown, which is, by the way, stretching into its ninth day. But as soon as there is some type of a resolution in that showdown, the Pentagon claims that it will reimburse the troops' loved ones. But listen, Sergeant Joseph Peters is one of five soldiers killed in Afghanistan over the weekend. His body arrives at Dover Air Force Base today. The Secretary of Defense, Chuck Hagel, plans to be there. But his family, if they want to be there to receive the body, they have to pay their own way. It's upsetting. I don't think it's right. It's absolutely ridiculous that this family is losing their son, husband. They shouldn't have to worry about that right now. Knowing the, the character of this organization, whether the government pays or we pass the hat, we will take care of that family. I was in the Army. I've been to Iraq. I've seen what happens. It's heartbreaking to know your friend lost the love of her life in such a tragic way um, and not being able to do or say anything for her. You know, the death benefits would usually include $100,000 to every family and 12 months allowance for housing for them. Now, the Fisher House Foundation, which you might know as offering assistance to the families of troops who are recovering at the hospital, they are now offering to help with an advance on those funds.